Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Petrus Swizzler. I'm with the New Jersey Institute of Technology. And today we're going to be taking a look at QGIS. It's an open source piece of software for taking geotechnical data and plotting it. Um, so I've already gone ahead, I've downloaded some data from the Illinois Data Clearinghouse. Uh, the data that we're really going to be looking at are shapefiles. Um, and these shapefiles, they contain lots of data, uh, in this case, about uh, pesticides in groundwater, I believe. and We've loaded it up by double clicking on the associated uh, SHP file that we're interested in. Um, and it gives us this, right? A bunch of polygons. Uh, but we want to have this, you know, have, have colors unique for the data, right? So if uh, the data says one, it should be black. If it says two, it should be um, you know, a different color and, and go up. So we've already loaded it here. And what we do, we right click, go down to properties. And so we're in symbology, we're going to change it from single symbol to graduated. And let's go ahead and change it to turbo, just because I like the way that color goes. Uh, importantly, uh, each of these shape files is going to have a lot of data that it could be associated with. Uh, and so you have to select which one you want, in this case, pesticides. Um, and you want to go down here, select fixed interval. You can see it's already populated everything uh, how we want it. You know, zero to one, one to two, two to three, etc. And so all we have to do is hit apply, and you can see that there we go. We have everything plotted just how we want. We can tell what value everything is. Uh, and so now what we can do is we can go project, import, export. And what I like to do is export map to image. Um, it's going to export everything that's in this window right here as an image. And so we're just going to say okay. It's going to pop up here. Um, I do TIFF format because that's easy to import into uh, MATLAB, for example, and save it. And so the, uh, the shape file to a TIFF file. And that's really it. Uh, hopefully this was useful.